Hi, I'm Eileen. If you're squirming with anticipation about where this video is going, I just want to tell you that I totally understand. When I was in university, one of my friends was constantly talking about his bowel movements and I would just be like, oh my god, you need to stop. So I'm not going to tell you about mine, but I am going to tell you about why you may want to consider getting more familiar with yours. So that's the real purpose of this video. So in my life, I have been blessed with digestive issues. And I say blessed because it's really given me a whole level of awareness that I didn't think was possible in that dimension. And when I was in my 20s, that's when it really, it was really bad. And I went to my doctor and basically the solution to my problems was to take a pill for the rest of my life. So the engineer in me was like, that is not good enough. That's not the root cause of the problem. It's just kind of masking the symptoms. And because of that, I considered some things that I was skeptical about before that, and I went to see a naturopath. And since then, I've worked with not just naturopaths, but Ayurvedic practitioners and practitioners of Chinese medicine. And in every single appointment I've ever had with any of them, they've asked me to describe my bowel movements in detail. And what I've learned from this is that by doing, just by simply paying attention to what comes out of you, you can really get more familiar with the state that your body's in and use it as a feedback mechanism so that you adjust what you put into it. So I know our culture is obsessed with what we put into our bodies and kind of squeamish about what comes out of them. And you don't have to talk about what comes out of it, but it's definitely worth paying attention to what comes out of you and being familiar with it so that you can make better choices about what you put into yourself. Because there's definitely a huge correlation between what you put in and what comes out. And if you're having resistance to this, I totally understand because I had the same thing. But being constantly asked about it forced me to pay more attention to it and get more comfortable with it over time. So it'll that'll go away. Thanks for watching. Until next time. For more insights to help you experience the confidence and inner peace that come with being true to yourself, go to eileqtan.com.